But I believe Sam Beavers won that race. Yes, I believe he did. Oh, thank you. Syracuse, 1976 now, gentlemen. Hey, this is the king of the races now. Now you're getting to where everybody comes. I mean, there's the money, the glory, the fans, the whole show. Here it is in one big bag. Well, we just saw the 16 there. That car had been driven by Jackie Wilson. This year, Jan Opperman was at the wheel. Sprint car great was Jan Opperman with the black number 16. Notice the suspension on Welch's car. He runs all the way out where the sprinters run. Yeah, he really had it down to a uh, fine science that year. Of course, Syracuse, a very hard track, very narrow, and Kenny really let it hang out. You know, I'm telling you, I've been into this so long and everything. I do set up some cars now and everything. So uh, just uh, if people want to know asphalt or dirt, give me a call. Very good. Sam Beaver is still using the hard-earned knowledge from a lot of years of racing. And that's interesting, too, Sam. You know, the technology changes of the race cars, and yet the same basic... Common sense always prevails, doesn't well, it? Well, the, the newer cars are kind of set up like Kenny Wells cars. And uh, I was growing up the way you see the cars here now, but you, you have to make changes if you want to go fast. Kenny Wells was dominating this race. And as you know, everybody was laying back. We are going to afford to be the bridesmaid. But Billy Osmond was still pushing strong here. But I believe Kenny was leading at this point. Gary Blue was trying to come up through there, too. Yeah, something happened to Kenny. His car broke or something like that, or like 10 to go. And then uh, uh, Billy Osmond came on. But then you had your... Uh... Threat in the rain here with Murr Treckler right on his bumper. And they decide to end the race with Billy in front. And there's Billy in victory lane with Glenn Smith. As Billy Osmond wins at Syracuse.